Hi, I'm Pete Gallagher, Product Sales Manager for Wheel Loaders in North America. And today I'd like to talk to you about the 427 Agri, our most popular wheel loader sold into agriculture. This 158 horsepower UK built machine weighs in at just over 29,000 pounds and has a full turn tipping load of just over 14,000 pounds, which means you can get just over 7,000 pounds in the bucket. This machine here is fitted with a 3.1 cubic yard bucket, but depending on material density, that can be increased to four or even four and a half cubic yards. And now I'd like to talk to you about everything that makes this machine perfect for agriculture. The HT loader end design, the high horsepower engine, the four speed power shift transmission, limited slip differentials, the wide core cooling pack, all round serviceability of the machine, and finally, we'll get in the cab and see what all the controls do. So first of all, the HT loader end, or high torque loader end. It's high torque because you get very high breakout forces, but you also get constant force throughout the bucket dump angle, making it perfect for other attachments like grabs and grapples. With this, you also get the crowd ram situated on either side of the loader end. So no bucket linkage through the middle. This means you get excellent visibility to the market compatible quickage, making changing attachments extremely easy. But also this geometry gives you true parallel lift throughout the lift angle of the machine. Each 427 Agri is also fitted with the high lift loader end as standard. This loader end has been specifically designed to give additional lift height for silage defacing or loading into feeder wagons. And for rotary attachments, the high flow pipe work delivers 63 gallons of oil every minute to the attachment. So let's get into the heart of the machine and look at the drive line. First of all, the Cummins QSB 6.7 litre engine or 408 cubic inch. This delivers 591 pound feet of torque and 158 horsepower. Most importantly, that torque is delivered at very low engine RPM, meaning it's got great torque reserves and great power for pushing, for climbing and for driving down the road. The most critical thing about this engine is the way it meets the Tier 4 interim emissions legislation, only using a diesel oxidation catalyst. So there's no add blue after treatment system, so there's no need to fill with any additional fluids and there's no diesel particulate filter. And with no diesel particulate filter, there's no regeneration cycle, meaning no increased exhaust temperatures and no downtime to carry out that regeneration. Every machine is also fitted with a cyclonic air pre-filter with scavenge system as standard. This spins the air around extremely fast, pushing the large particles of dust and debris to the outside and sucking it away through the exhaust, prolonging the life of the paper filter element. Every 427 Agri, features a four-speed power shift transmission. This fully automatic transmission with a torque converter drive and four individual speeds means the machine can reach a top speed of 26 miles per hour for fast and effective traveling over long distances. And traveling over these distances is also comfortable with the smooth ride system installed on every machine. Every 427 Agri also has limited slip differentials as standard. This distributes 30% of the torque from any wheel that's slipping to the wheel with good grip. And this torque transfer means that no matter what ground conditions, the machine will keep pushing. And it also manages to push effectively round corners. Finally on the axles, every machine has wheel speed braking, meaning the brakes spin at the same speed as the wheels rather than the speed of the drive shaft. This slower speed braking means the braking is more efficient but also generates less heat and reduces wear on the brakes. All the daily checks and service points on this machine have been designed to be easily accessible from ground level. First of all, pressure test points for the hydraulics, steering and brakes. The cabin air filter, windshield wash fill, and the hydraulic sight gauge. On this side of the engine bay, we have the engine air filter, hydraulic filter, and hydraulic fill point, fuel filter, engine oil dipstick, and engine oil fill point. On this side of the engine bay, we have the block heater, fuel fill, transmission dipstick, engine oil filter, emergency steer pump, 
and the header tank. As well as great access to the engine bay with the wide opening gull wing style doors, we also have excellent access to the cooling pack with a large swing out rear fan. On the 427 Agri, the fan is reversible as standard, meaning it gets rid of any dust and debris that's collected on the cooling pack. The cooling pack itself is a wide core cooler, meaning the space between the fins is much larger, allowing dust and debris to pass through rather than clogging it up. And it's a single face cooler, meaning we can get to both sides to clean it out. The cooling pack itself is split into four sections, engine water, hydraulics, transmission and intercooler. Each of those sections could be replaced if required without replacing the whole cooling pack. And the large solid cast counterweight and the solid cast uprights either side of the cooling pack provide ample protection. Around the back of the machine, the service points we have are the battery isolator, the batteries and the primary fuses. Finally in the cab, it's a large operating environment with excellent visibility, especially forwards because of the HT loader end and reduced in-cab noise to 69 decibels. I'm now going to go through a few key switches and features. So first of all, intelligent clutch cutoff. With the system engaged, as you put your foot on the brake pedal, it progressively disconnects the clutch, diverting the power away from the drive and to the loader arms for effective and efficient loading. Then we have the quick hitch isolator. So a spring loaded switch, you hold the switch down and hold the button on the joystick for your auxiliaries to disconnect the quick hitch. On this side we have our loader detent kickouts. With the system engaged, as you pull back the joystick, it will detent and then kick out at a preset height. It also has return to dig, again kicking out when the shovel is level. Eco mode reduces the maximum engine RPM to 1800 RPM and remaps the engine for more efficient working. And finally, the smooth ride system, which with the switch on, the system will engage at 3.7 miles per hour. For information about the rest of the switches, please refer to the operator's manual, which has a full description of what each and every switch does. So that's a walk around of the highlights of the JCB 427 Agri. For further information, please go online or speak to your local JCB agricultural dealer.